Hi, in this video, we will see how we could design a PID controller for a mass spring damper system. So the outline of the lecture is the following. We have a physical system which is consists of mass and spring damper. We will build the mathematical model of the system. So first we will have the differential equation of the system. And from the differential equation of the system, we will derive the transfer function. And then we will design a PID controller for the system and we will simulate the system with the PID controller in the MATLAB. Now the basic element of any translating mechanical system is the mass and spring and damper. So all we need to know is how the force is generating in the mass. So the force is equal to the mass multiplied by the A which is the accelerator and the accelerator is the second derivative of the X which is the position. The force in the damper is equal to the force uh, to the constant coefficient of the spring multiplied by the position. And the force generated in the damper is the coefficient of the damping multiplied by the velocity which is the first derivative of the position. So these are the three basic elements of the translating mechanical system and how the force in each component. Now considering the following system which we have a mass connected to a fixed wall by a damper and spring and there is a force which is applied to this mass so the force will be considered as the input to the system and the, the mass will be moved in the x direction like for a certain position so in order to drive the differential equation of the system we need to draw the free body diagram of the system now based on the uh, the Newton second law the summation of the force uh, on the mass is should be equal to the force on the mass so if we consider that all the force in the x direction or in this direction is in the positive and the force in this direction in the negative we will have the following equation f which is in this direction with the positive direction minus these two forces so the forces from the damper the forces from the spring equal to the force on the mass so this is the differential equation of this system. Based on this differential equation, we will rearrange this equation as the following. So the F, which is the input to the system, equal to the M, which is the mass, multiplied by the second derivative of the position, which is the acceleration, plus the B, which is the coefficient, the damping coefficient, multiplied by the velocity, which is the various derivative of the X, plus K, which is the spring, uh, constant multiplied by the x which is the position now if we took if we take the Laplace transformation of this equation we will have the following f equal to the m s square because this is the second derivative multiplied by the x plus b s of the x uh, multiplied by the x which is the position and kx now again we know that our input is the force and the output is the x which is the displacement the position now transfer function is represent the relationship between the uh, the output of the system uh, to the input of the system so the open loop so if we take like f which is the input to the system and x which is the output of the system the open loop transfer function will be like this x which is the output over f which is the input equal to the following uh, equation so this is the open loop uh, transfer function of the system this is the open loop transfer function of the system now we will design a PID controller in order to improve the performance of the mass spring damper now for more information about PID controller I will put a link in the description to describe the PID controller in more details now just to a quick recap about What's the PID controller? It's a, a controller has three terms, which is the P, which is the proportional, and the integral part, and the derivative part. So the control law of the PID controller is equal to the KP multiplied by the error, and the error is the difference between the actual output and the desired output, uh, plus KI, uh, the integral of error, plus KD, the derivative of the error. Now we need to know what's the basic characteristic of each component. So for example for KP, for the overshoot, the KP increase the overshoot. The KP increase the overshoot. 
but there is no much changing will be in the settling time but decrease the error steady state so the advantage of kp is to decrease the error steady state however it will increase the overshoot for ki uh, increase the overshoot increase the settling time but eliminate the error steady state so the advantage of ki is to eliminate the error steady state but will uh, affect on the overshoot and the settling time of the system for the kd uh, it will decrease the overshoot decrease the settling time but there is not too much effect on the steady state error now if we take the response of our system and we know that in the response there are the transient response and the steady state now in the control system there are two problems that we need to control so the regulator problem and the tracking problem in the regulator problem we try to improve the transient response of the system and we need to guarantee the stability of the closed loop system so again if we go back to this table we will see that kd decrease the overshoot decrease the settling time so it's increase uh, it's improve the transit response of the system now for the ki or the i the integral part it's eliminate the error steady state so for the tracking problem we need a, like we have a, a reference and we need to follow this reference with zero steady state error so in if we looking for tracking problem to solve the tracking problem so we will focus on the integral but if we are looking for improving the transit response we will focus on the derivative so let's go to the matlab and see how we could design the pid controller for the mass spring uh, for the mass damper spring and how we could play with the coefficient kp ki kd open the matlab and let's see how we could implement the pid controller with the mass spring damper with the mass uh, spring damper on the matlab so now considering the following code and we will explain uh, each step on the code so starting from the clc which is to clear uh, the common window clear all to clear all the value in the workspace we will consider that the mass is 3.6 the constant coefficient of the spring is 1.8 the damping coefficient is 0.5 so this is the system parameter now in order to transfer this to a transfer function uh, in the matlab now we know that our uh, transfer function of the system is the following so it's 1 over m s square b s k so this is the transfer function so the numerator coefficient is just 1 so we say that n equal to the 1 the denominator of the system is m for the s square b for the s k the, the last term so we just put m b k now g is the open loop of the system and we will use the command tf to transfer this coefficient into transfer function so this is the transfer function of the system so in the beginning we will just apply step to the open loop of the system we will apply step input which is unity step input so we will see what will happen to the system if we apply a force which is one newton to see what will happen to the uh, the position of the mass so by applying one in newton force to the mass the mass will move like uh, forward and backward forward and backward until settle down on 0.55 meter so if we look to this response it's not a good response because it has so much oscillation and also it has an error steady state and that's why we decide to design a, co uh, a pid controller now in order to design a pid controller we have the kp and ki and kd and we let's assume that we start from kb equal to the one kd uh, ki0 and kd0 now we have a code which is pid to take these value and transfer them to a pid controller so the transfer function the g of the trans the, the pid is we use the code pid and we put the value of kp ki kd now if we look to the system with the controller and we can see that this is the g of the controller and this is the g of the system so they are both in the forward so we multiply the transfer function of the controller by the transfer function of the system and we take a unity feedback in order to simulate the whole system so the system with the controller as a feedback control system so we will use the command feedback in the matlab we will multiply 
the G which is the transfer function of the controller uh, G of GC which is the controller of the uh, the transfer function of the controller we will multiply it by the G which is the system and this is the feedback which is just only one and then we will apply step again and we put hold on so we can plot the open loop and also the closed loop with the controller so if we run the code now the blue is the response of the system as open loop and the green is the response of the system as closed loop now let's try to tune the kpkikd in order to improve the response now if we just say we have 5 kp so i will increase the value of kp to 5 and you have to keep in your mind that kp as we said from this table so it's increase the overshoot but decrease the error steady state so if we run the system now as you can see uh, let's say close all so if we run the code comparing to the previous response we can notice that the green one is shifted up which is reduce the error steady state as it's expected but also increase the overshoot so let's say we have 10 again the error steady state uh, decrease but the overshoot increase so we said in order to improve the transient response we could use the KD so I have so I will put 5 for the KD and I'm expecting that the from this table that the overshoot will decrease and the settling time will decrease so I will run so this is the new response as expected like the overshoot is reduced the oscillation reduced and also the settling time is reduced but I still have the problem with the error steady state because I have a unit step uh, input so I need my response settle down in the when now we are in the like nearly 0.82 so if I have like 0.5 uh, ki which is the integral part let's see what's the impact of the integral part now look to the integral part try to check the response to one and it's increase the overshoot uh, decrease the settling time so your system becomes slow however your system try to get one to uh, to eliminate the error steady state now we could also solve this problem by increase the kd so i will increase the kd now it's again that uh, the overshoot is reduced and the settling time is still too much so i will put like 25 now your response is still getting better that's how we tuning the PID now because we increase the KD too much the influence of KI reduce so in order to overcome this again I will increase the, K, uh, the KI now as you can see now how the, the, the response is changing with changing the value of KP and KI and KD so let's increase the KP you could see now your response is getting better and better so the idea here is that you could tune the KP and KI and KD as much as you can in order to get the response that is satisfy your uh, design performance so what you are looking for to remove the error steady state to improve the transient response of the system so it's up to your requirement so the main objective of this video is to design to develop the the mass spring numbers to develop the transfer function of the system and to design a PID control and to put everything in the MATLAB and see how the response as open loop and the closed loop with the PID controller I hope you uh, enjoy with this video see you next time bye